How to replace a rear inner tail light on a Lincoln MKZ in Zephyr. What you first want to do is go and open up the trunk. The tools you'll need is a 10 millimeter socket, I believe a deep well, and a door panel tool remover, which mine, I can get mine off by my hands. If you're careful enough and not to break the clips on it, but what you just want to do just kind of pry down on it with your hands with the tool you can see I did that one-handed but mine's been taken off a couple times so it's easier and there's a way unless you just want to take the time and take the whole cover piece off you can but this is just to kind of save time and don't have to lose all the clips to it Basically, I'll just leave it like that because I can get to it, but how I usually do it is fold this down a little bit and take my socket You got two bolts one here or two nuts one here and one here And you have the same thing over here one here I don't know If I can get a good lighting at that and one right here So what you want to go and do is take those four bolts off So after you've taken the four bolts off Basically, just like so, you have the bracket here, and these bolts, there's little tabs on them that holds it in place. So if yours come off, all you just got to do is kind of tilt it inwards and snap it basically back in place so it doesn't fall out again. And after you do that, you can go ahead and take your socket out if you want. Mine will come out easy because I've replaced it with obviously the little LED bulbs in it. And just wiggle it. And after you've done that, I'd have the trunk down a little bit. While kind of push it, you may have to kind of hit it a couple times lightly with your hand. Because I've noticed uh, there's usually, I think, some kind of adhesive stuff, and it usually gets stuck right here. So maybe take like a little flathead screwdriver and just kind of wedge it between the trunk lid and the light and just slowly pry on it. Don't give too much force or you break the light or damage the paint of it or leave a dent on the trunk lid of it. So after you've done that, it basically comes out just like so. And then toss that in. And I've got my new light here that I'll go ahead and put in place. So i got to take the sockets out first possibly unless I can shoot it in place if I can it would have been helpful if I re uh, realized that there's brackets already attached to it so I had to take the bracket off that was on the new light to get it back in place so simply just vice versa the way you hook it out let's go ahead and push it back in place Make sure you're in the holes. So I have to get it in place. Found out why it wouldn't go in because I didn't have the sockets turned the right way and it was getting caught on the lip of the trunk. So after you get it in, like I said, go ahead and put your bracket on. The bracket piece goes, if you're looking at the car, it goes over here. Then your two bolts goes right here. One thing I forgot to say, when you put your bracket piece in, make sure it's going in this way. Therefore it can hold up against the trunk lid of the vehicle. It won't work if you have it this way, so you'll have to have it this way for it to work right. So after you get the bolts in, make sure you tighten them up. Don't get them crazy tight, but just snug. And after you get it all put back together, Go and turn on your lights and make sure they work. I know these two are LEDs. These are just regular. Because apparently the other two LEDs blew out on me. And I don't think I have any more. So after you've done that, I'd put it in reverse. One way to do that. You don't really need a key. Oh, the car started, but if you put on the emergency brake. Pull it, pull it all the way as far as it goes. And just put your car to the on position and put it in reverse and just slowly let off the pedal to make sure the emergency brake and hold the car 
Then you can just get out. And you can kind of see the difference between my LED light and the regular one. I think my regular one's a lot brighter than this LED one. So now since it confirmed it all works, uh, you can put, go ahead and put your car in park so you don't get run over if your emergency brake gives out. What you want to do is go and put your clips back in. So I go ahead and put, do it like that and you see a little hole there. Try to line it up and just basically just pushes right on in. So after you get all your clips installed, then you're good to go. And that's how you place the rear inner tail light on a Lincoln MKZ and Zephyr. Thanks for watching.